Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Duo Battle campaign. We pick things up for episode 37 from turn 151 in the Harvest Season of 220. So, last episode was quite eventful as we got into quite a few fights that we shouldn't have won, uh, but we pulled it out. And we have the Kingdom of Qi now, as Kongro has marched his way up and taken the territory that used to belong to the Kingdom of Yet, which is now downgraded to Duchy of Yet. What we're going to do is observe, because we are not at war with them. Not yet. They don't particularly like us, but it's not war, so we still have our hands full. I don't really want to mess with him right now. We're going to try to deal with the rest of the map first, and that includes capturing Zhuge Liang. As capturing generals, it's still one of our favorite pastimes. And the army that really pulled out a tough fight here can now get patience. Another 25% capture chance. Uh, Ma Dai should probably pick up Breach. Um, and he does not, uh, Wei Yan doesn't have it, so Ma Dai is going to lead this army in the future. Uh, but right now, I think we're going for Flaming Shot as well. And he can't run. Nor can he hide. And we're gonna have a shot here. We're looking at 45% uh, for decisive victory. It can't improve, so we're just gonna delegate this. Wei Yan taking out his frustrations. We didn't get him. That's okay. Uh, we'll take Ransom. I still want a good relationship with them. Sima Yi is going to send himself up to help defend that army a little bit. Because it's very annoying fighting Zhang Yan because his offensive ambushes. They can't reach me. I should be fine here. It seems like we should come down here instead and deal with them. Because this route, they're much closer. If we get siege, it's fine. I can handle it. And he can come down and grab this so we can complete Taiyuan for ourselves. Alright, Guan Yu and Cao Cao. Unlikely friends. I mean... Cao Cao definitely admired Guan Yu historically, so it's fine. Um, we don't really want to offer ourselves up as targets. If they want to go retake their Emperor seat, let them. Question is, do we want to set a trap here? Do they need help? Alright, we'll offer this as a trap. This eventually will be traded away. Right now, the greatest help it can be for us is giving us some seasonal deployment. So this would be the best building for us. And the food is fine, we don't need to really build it up. Okay, so that's our northern situation. We could send out a new army. So Surin has been sitting on the bench forever now, but she has the retinue that we've been wanting to hand to her. Uh, Zhang Hong can go with her. And who can be the front line here? We have the dual elephant. I mean, he's... Yeah, we could front line with double elephant. She has a unit for front line as well. We're gonna give him these. And then we're gonna use the one shield unit here as the anti range tank. She's not high enough level to get heavy cataphracts, so I guess we'll just go with cataphracts for now. I don't really want Defender of Hobe. They're not terrible, but like I need better units on the. Strategist.
All right, Saren's so officially on the field. We'll let her lead. Yeah, we'll take the extra speed and extra movement. Replenish rate, that's actually pretty good. This is not needed, we'll go for the extra cunning. Right, Trempool died. So someone's gonna get these, not him. Mm, you can keep these. I don't think we're gonna get attacked. I could that could be a mistake, but I'll take the two extra percent right now. Alright, now the north feels a little bit safer. Who else leveled up? Alright, they're fine. I really don't care about the pass. Oh, Zhao still out there saving kids. But he's defiant, but I still think we should give him the territory. Or else how can we butter him up? I mean, if any of these vassals end up betraying us, it's a pretty easy fight to beat them. Already guaranteed him? Wow. Okay, fine. Not much to do to please him, I guess. There's no one there, but we can't reach, so we might as well rest the turn, get the heal. And they're gonna try to go for this, they will go for this and then that, and then obviously both will cross. He will take the horse, he will take the capital, and the war out here would be over at that point. Joel type. Well, Lady Jerome's army is officially decimated. She just needs some finishing touches. And we're here to provide that. They I mean, don't have any more good items. Well, Dai Lai, if we can capture him, that would be absolutely lovely. So hopefully we'll get that uh, working. Although I think they will suicide into the settlement this turn, so we're not going to see that. We are going to try to find Xu Hua. Which we can't, apparently. Let's trespass. Yeah, it's trending to negative, and also he's in this alliance. This is the weirdest alliance. And like, how are they allies? Did they just become allies last turn? See, he's in a war and in an alliance with him. This, this must be a mistake. Those armies are all up there. We're just going to trespass. We'll take a look at what they have. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, rebellions everywhere. Mm 
Okay, nothing to do there. Is a big court. I'm just gonna let him build up some points first. Obviously, we're still interested in killing heirs and leaders. It might be like there might be a cooldown with it. That's why I think it's going on. It's not really worth revolting. Better for him to do other things. You, on the other hand, are not one of the special leaders, but yeah, go fight Yuan Shu. Do the thing. There's no one to really try to steal. That's our spy. Okay, can't do much. All right, that's fine. Um, I think we still have administrator spot open. Should we fill it up? Because I don't know what else we're gonna give away. Everything here is going to tall tune. This, 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 this. Hopefully that one day. Might be very hard to give it away given the shape. We could also just give it away to a new vassal. Yeah, so let's keep it empty for now. I don't really need the money. Uh, we're only making 11k, but that's because we have a lot of army. Uh, in terms of trade, we have two trades down now because... Why? Why can't we trade with Renjit? Oh, he... No. Wait. He loses... Hmm. I thought we had harbor to harbor. He loses harbor? No, he still has harbor. Is he getting sieged? Ah, ah, that's why. It's getting his harbor is getting sieged. So once that fixes itself, we should be fine. Anyhow, uh, let's continue. Yes, Truron's coming to suicide. We'll take the Pyrrhic victory. We can't really capture them because we don't really have much capture chance. They're all very high level. So we'll just delegate for the win. And her faction is now wiped. Or is she gonna still stand back up for Jolt had to get her? Oh, I think she disappeared. Yep. It's over. Oh. Zhou Zhi. That's Golan's old faction. How about no? Okay. Everyone still hates... So yeah, there was some weird alliance going on, but now it's official war. They form an empire. Let's just see who's with who now. Wait, we missed one. Cao Shuo. Oh, spy promoted. Yeah, yeah, rebellions everywhere. No problem. So the south is finally done. No more wars. They need to be redeployed north. Same exact army because we need the Othorn. Even though Zhou Tai doesn't like either one. It's weird, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. We need to declare war against them. There's really no point. Just want to pick on someone weak. Rebellions, so what? All right, most importantly, Take this. Quick, 
I'm hoping Zhang Yan resummons Zhuge Liang over here, so I'm gonna keep Sima Yi somewhere nearby. As for these fools, Xu Chu, capture chance, capture chance. Hmm. We don't have the capture chance one, do we? No, we don't have any of them finished. Patience? Patience? We'll borrow one. Ninety percent on him. Fifty percent on Xu Chu. This is on decisive, so we can't improve it. It's not worth fighting. Come on. Ooh, Zhuge Liang's... Okay, so he's not willing now, but he might be. So we're going to get the fondness now. He gets more movement. So they'll try to go for that. We just want here for replenishment. We're coming back down because we're waiting to fight them. She will come... Uh, do we need the mustering? We'll be at 45%. That's pretty decent. Oh my god. Gong Sun Zan. His army shattered. Oh yeah, indeed his army is shattered. Um, he has our book. This is the book that we lost when Zhong Zhang's army got wiped. But we don't have any chance of capturing him. This would just be like a wipe and... See if he drops item. I'd rather see him respawn back near base. Mm, he's still here. He didn't drop it. No one has patience here. She can't have it and he doesn't have it. This is not the best army for capturing. This way they can't double team me because I'm in ambush. Help is on the way. They're going to take this. Both of them have a story which will go down so both of them will try to go take it. Wow, he's just wiping them out. Go Korong, go. We're interested in these. Koron's coming for this as well. He's gonna take it. Looks like we don't have anything to do. Like our ideal positions here where we are within a turn of taking this, and that's an auto win for us. Uh, well, if we have the other Emperor Seat. So now the question is, uh, how fast can we get to the Emperor Seat out west? We are having a problem with having too many territories. Oh no. Is how we pick up a wounded trait? Well, once you have seven, the system wants to give you eighth one. That's usually what happens. Alright, we need at least this turn to heal, if not two turns, so it's a slow journey. If they want to go, say, here. Yeah, it's also slow. So, I kind of want to keep these. What do we give up? We can give up one of our tall commanderies.
Say we can give Baron to her because she's starting to hate us. You guys want a peace deal? I know I executed a lot of you guys, but... I'm gonna give Badum away. Yeah. Although... Giving it to them might be better, just because they are a better vassal at this point. Like, peaceful. It's much safer than giving to them and then they flip on us. But it would make them like us a bit more, but they're defiant. Like, overall, this is, this is really always going to be a bad situation. I think I'm going to give it to them. Well, they're decently wealthy. Which is a good sign. Wow, Imperial City. How much is it worth? 100 points. Um, we just gave him a bunch of money. And then one more deal. Wei Popoji Dai, Ling Ting Zu Xia Jia Yan. Alright, so that should... Oh, it's still not lowering it below the extent, so we're still over limit. Well, our food just went up, so maybe we can get rid of some food. No, both of these are way too much food to go give it away. We can give up like small pieces of, let's say, Nanyang. But then it wouldn't make sense to keep the capital so high level. Yang Changsha. Boyang, we can't give up. Maybe we don't need Taiyuan. It's not like we're looking to recruit here. Oh, this we're giving away too. So maybe if we give away no. Yan Men, we don't have to worry about it. Do you even have money? Okay, I guess we gave her some. Ah, uh, still over. Alright, you know what? Someone's getting lucky. Oh, 
桃硕。Honorable. I like the sound of that. Balance. Okay, we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. We'll try to get you some more territory, but that's gonna do it. Yep, we're finally down below the limit, keeping at thirty-two. We did give up Badon because we want to keep the silk and the horses. We're still trying to get two more, three more, four more. I mean, these are hard to get later on. We might not go up north at all. So we're looking at at least two more, three more to keep the capital. Three more here, and then we win with the fourth take here. But maybe we don't have to give up anything after this. We'll just swallow the difference. Um, obviously, the distraction would be like extra public order and then the corruption, which is very annoying. And I'm just trying to avoid that situation. All right, we do get extra assignments and also extra administrators. So Poyang can welcome back administrator. Lord Jun was Badung's. I don't think he's angry because we gave away his land, so technically he wasn't fired. So extra industry, extra peasantry. Peasantry is not really in Poya. A little bit. A little bit. Like he's probably better served. Right, we I I guess he's just good overall. All sources. Public water food production. Alright, bam, here you go. Now yeah, we're gonna hold off. We didn't even really go for the full build. Oh, Nayan's going for some peasantry here. Maybe we should have put him here. Uh, but Poyan just has way more potential. I'm gonna keep the last one open, because most likely we're gonna have to give away Taiyuan as well as we move on, so... Better be prepared for that. Now over here, someone go do... Commerce. Uh, no need to do industry. Someone should do commerce here as well. There we go. Yeah, keep trespassing. Don't worry about it. No armies? Where are you stashing, Xu Huang? Okay, and then it's just these two guys um, over here in Nanyang, chilling. They might be chilling for the rest of the campaign. I don't think, I mean, unless Renshaw makes a move against us. It's unlikely, but still a possibility. Alright, we have enough points, but we can't do anything. So since we are gaining these points every turn, yeah. I, <laughs> we can do this every turn, he'll still be a max point every turn. But I think this is a different case, right? She doesn't gain that as fast, so we gotta wait on her. I'm just uh, not her, she's our spy. Yeah, I'm just interested in targeting family members. I don't really need him. I should disown him. Yeah. Rather see the empty slot. Actually, I am curious who Gong Sun Zan has. He might not have anyone. And by who? Ooh, 47. Plus 16, okay. We'll see. We'll see. What we he got adopted. Or married into the... I think adopted. Um, we'll see what happens. 
All right, I think we're good. Let's uh, continue. All right, Gong Sun Zan marched back into our ambush. Um, it's sad. We don't have the patience in this army, so we're just going to have to wipe him. I mean, I hope he gets resummoned. Eager to fight a full, you know, stacked Gong Sun Zan in the future. We are going to... Release you. Oh. This is a fight. So I can extract him before the fight? Just remove him from it? I think that's probably good. Right. A full stack against this army that's not fully mustered. We're still not favored. Uh, so I guess we have to fight this. They also have Siege Weapon. Very interesting. Well, we outrange them. Let's go. Alrighty, it's rainy. I'm not a fan of the terrain type. I like the hill, I don't like the trees. Hmm. Might have to just face them off this way. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be a really weird setup because they also have a seed weapon, so it's gonna be. Oh. Only so few units. It's gonna be us marching up to them. actually moving forward. I'm a little surprised. Alright, you guys safely move up. The siege weapon is going to get left behind, so Suren has a good shot here. And he's willing to duel her, so that's perfect. That's our excuse to get up close. I assume we can win this. We can't use our abilities while doing that. Come on, shoot it. Uh, now he doesn't want to duel. Smart guy. Alright, use that as our charge. Fake. We're fast, don't worry. Yeah, much faster than them. Get charge speed up. Maybe wait. We should have waited until they charged us and then smashed it. Alright, we wrecked three of them. I don't even care if they have units left. It's only one thing left now. Oh, we can pierce both, maybe? He died. If they stand in the straight line, you can kill both. I've killed two strategists in one shot before. Hey, you're very close to me. Oh, 
啊，是猪的。你就不知道闭上嘴吗 ？Wait, wait, wait. How did they get? They got through this. Oh, they flank from behind. Elephants, cavalry. What are you guys doing? Finish him. Go light it up, light it up. Killing ourselves. Ah, stupid us. Oh, spear wall behind the crossbow in a smoke screen. Very cute. We go from behind the spear wall, and we smash it like a good vanguard. It's over. We definitely took a bit of unnecessary loss, but it's okay. Here, we'll make sure they're dead. Oh no! Oh, they're hitting towers. Okay, it's fine. Alrighty, that spy worked pretty well. Got the extraction. Got the this credit character in the same turn that we got him on, and we can heal up our own territory. Got a foreman. Not bad. Not really needed. We don't have that many administrators. Tao Hu Dun died of old age. Okay. We don't have a perfect replacement. No one that gets along with both the other generals. So we're gonna have to pick. I mean, we can send one of Cao Cao's kid. Actually, he'll be a great vassal. Yeah, we can get a burn officer on the field too. She would hate both of them. We have a few more burn officers. Oh, he would get along with both. Okay. Sixty-four. I mean, you know, with the campaign going this long into, you know, 220, which is kind of historical, Three Kingdoms, we're so bound to get a few here. natural death. So let's see, they're marching towards us. Um, I do want to keep moving. All right, this is probably the last turn, and then we can start marching. Now all three of them hate each other. Great. We should give Taiyuan away first before we capture these. Then we can trade them for extra diplomatic points. So we did say that Halbi it was looking like a great. Candidate. Oh, we also lost our guard. Zhang Fei, you can come out. Tao Hou Dun died. That's because. Trade has not yet ended. 
此城归我军所有了。Do I need to keep fighting down though? I feel like there's really no need. Wow, they're expanding fast. Man, poor Gong Sun Zan. He looks so mighty as the Kingdom of Yan turned out to be, you know, nothing. Um, well, we have the army in position to take them. So I can't really give them more land, but I can give her more land. Does she have anything? I don't want her to be in our war. Alright, that's fine. We'll draw them down to here. I won't be fighting that anymore. I'm actually going to go regroup with Guan Yu. Well, we'll fight it. Obviously, the retinue, the garrison here is what's difficult, but we should be able to handle them. Oh, we're pretty. We're pretty injured. Eh, should be okay. We have archers. Alrighty. The map looks beautiful. Snowy day. Um, I don't think they'll charge out. Uh, but we probably do want to fight from this angle. Yeah. We can heal. Okay, they're not charging out. Excellent. I believe we want to heal ourselves where we all huddled close. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't heal myself because I, I misclicked. I wanted to move him up closer. Oh well, one last heal is not going to kill us. Alright, so you hit that. And you hit that. And we miss. Wow, both miss. Oh, stop. He didn't miss. He didn't miss. There we go. You want to click yourself. There you go. Okay, they're both willing to do Yan Yu. Huh. Nasty of Steel, that's tough. He has some item, but not that strong. Well, let's see. What unit do we want to kill here? Do we have range units? One Archer Militia. Okay, so they can move up.
Might as well take it out. Ooh, it's a good one. Spear guard's also quite annoying to deal with. They're facing the wrong way. Yeah, we're gonna get them when they rotate, so the shield's never facing the right way. Let's go. This is a duel that I know I can win. We'll activate the last heal when they're fighting for the boost. Yeah, it's not really fair. We got 138 melee evasion right now after that heal boost because it gives melee evasion and armor as well. And then we heal after we kill from the duel. She's angry. She's coming out. Knock her off her horse. Come on, this has got to be a charge. It's got to be a knockdown. Oh, the system doesn't work for the enemy. We don't have any cavalry. Yeah, just, just, just pin her down here. Decline, not this duel. If you want to duel with him... There we go, there we go. That way we grab her out. Yeah, I'm okay with using 10% health. Because once you win the duel, you heal like 25. If we can win it fast, you heal 50. So. Alright, while they're dueling, slap this down. They just got off the ground. No, it's too far. Try to kill these guys. I don't think we hit her. Evasion. Mm. Might be a rough one. Tenacity of Steel plus the Death of Othorn. Be a lot of extra damage. Not sure if we can win this. Alright. Might as well just boost everyone before I die. Oh, 
Go get her. Hey, we never said we play fair. Before she mounts, kill her. Chase her down. Right, we're just going to kill the cavalry. I feel like the rest of the archers and stuff, very easy for us to kill. Especially since we have these. Yeah, she's not bouncing back. How do they have smoke screen? Alright, now we just gotta kill the cavalry and then send in our infantry. How much ammo do we have? Oh, some of have 20 something. Okay. How much ammo do we have? My gosh. Oh, 
At least they have elephants. Alright, axe units against shield units. Alright, they're all wavering. It's over. Wasn't too bad. We still have ammo left. That duel, she got quite a few buffs there. Alrighty. Um, he felt pretty useless. A minister of- I'm, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna be more lenient toward Gulsunzan right now because he's no longer a kingdom, so there's a chance for a peace. Jorian's still saving kids. Alright, anyhow. Um, we're gonna end our episode here. Uh, Taiyuan's obviously all going to Taobi, and, um... He's balanced, so that's that's good enough. What we're gonna do is save up these two forces to hope Zhang Yan resummons Zhuge Liang and Xu Chu on the field. Xu Chu already has found this, so if we capture him again, there's a good shot we can get him. Um, all the other armies will, uh, well, she will march out from this direction. Uh, he will probably meet her, not in un, uh, um, Unping. I think we're gonna leave these for Kongrong to attack and to keep his armies busy. Cao Cao will move into this position here with Guan Yu to be in striking distance of the Emperor's seat when we need that, uh, when we need to take it. Uh, since these are vassals that were created after the war, they're not involved in any war, so they'll be safe. Uh, these two armies, I don't even think she needs to keep going. Right, she might not need to keep going. Like, they can probably all start moving back. Uh, we got Tyran ready. Maybe we'll take the path and give him the path. But that's really all. We can give him food if we really want him to be doing well, but I don't really see a point. Like, she can take all three of these, give it to him, give him the pass, but not really worth the effort. Um, so I think she might go back as well. So four armies looking at this Emperor seat, uh, two army guarding this one. We have Gunning's army trespassing through Taoying's territory trying to look for Xu Huang, um, but I don't see him, so... We might not be able to get him. I'm gonna bounce him back out into Guan Wang's territory. Um, that's probably what we're gonna do. Out west, uh, we're making good inroads. Uh, they didn't... Well, the idea is that they run into us during the end turn. And we wipe them out, we'll be able to heal during the end turn so we can continue to move. Um, this army can start marching soon. But even if we march, I think it's at least three turns to get to Jincheng. And then after we get a Jincheng, it's probably another, I don't know, five, six turns before we can get this. It's just really far. Um, so we just have to get there. Once we get this, it's just one turn away from winning. Because I can take this now. Just that the repercussion of declaring war against Kongro right now is not that good for us. So we don't want to provoke him until we know we can just win. So that's kind of the goal here. Um, everywhere else, it's fine. Um, we're starting to see some shakiness in our vassals, uh, but at this point, even if they rebel, what can they do? Like, they can't take my capital. I have other vassals here, so let's say she rebels. Uh, the immediate result is the other four armies destroy her the exact turn that she rebels, and the capital is safe. Uh, we might lose some land, obviously, and stuff like that. Um, T might be an issue, uh, but we do have trades with other factions down south. And I think uh, we didn't keep a reserve tea, but I think we're, we're we're trading with this faction in Jiangyang. This is a very vital faction for us. They have our reserve tea over here. Uh, we gave them Badong, so they should like us more. Uh, they should also be richer, hopefully stronger, being able to contain this for us if this becomes a problem. Uh, but other than that, we're looking to close this um, campaign out. Mainly just have to get this. Traveling. And then we strike this. Obviously, they can turn on us before then. You know, Cornwall's not going to sit here and let us develop and uh, crush him at the end. Uh, but so we'll, we'll see how things go. We'll, we'll pile two army here, probably pile another two army here, and uh, 
we can probably summon a few more. Zhou Tai is now free. Um, I think summoning him here makes the most sense because we don't really need more armies here. There's not much resistance, it's just distance. So that's where things stand. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and see you guys next time. Bye!